Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about the data collector and uh, the ways you can use it uh, for storing your results. So I'm going to be trying to be as quick as possible. I'm going to open um, the strategy analyzer. So and there are two ways we can, you know, analyze strategies, right? So let's start with the first one. So let's imagine you just created a backtest and I'm just going to pop up a uh, simple strategy. Let me just find it. KLMN. So there we go. Okay, so let's find a strategy. Let's imagine we spent hours trying to find some good results. And I'm just going to get some, some data. And so this is some, some 15 minute run on ES. I have no idea whether it's going to be good, bad. Well, it's a pretty bad run. Uh, but anyway, so let's imagine we were. I don't know, trying to find some good results, we like, were fiddling out with MAs and I don't know, some periods, and finally, oh, okay, <laughs> I was lucky. Anyway, so, and we finally found some interesting uh, settings, and we we're like, oh, I gotta go to work, or I gotta go somewhere. And uh, so at this point, we we're like, okay, uh, how do we store these results and come back to them and analyze them later? I mean, obviously we can create the template and save the settings, but what, and then we can reproduce a strategy with these settings, you know, open the strategy analyzer again, etc. Instead of that, with the data collector, you can just go to trades and I'm going to export this. It doesn't matter which format, XLS or CSV. And on my drive C, I just created a folder for these results. So I know this is ES, uh, so I'm gonna label this ES 15 minutes. 15 minutes, uh, whatever, I'm gonna save this. Okay, so my open office uh, Excel opened up. Okay, and then let's imagine we're like, okay, how does this look with the same settings, but if I change the symbol to NQ, for example? Okay, so let me see. I'm going to get NQ and I'm going to click run. Okay, let's imagine I like this too. I'm just potentially uh, simulating an example and I'm going to export this and I'm going to give this a label and Q. Okay, I'm going to save this. Okay, so now we have two potential backtest results and I'm going to open my data, data collector and uh, they're actually here now and well they're here because in the settings i've actually specified the path to the same folder okay uh, showing uh, and it, i put my data results uh, my backtest results into this folder and you also need to specify the csv or xls for date format uh, when you export uh, i mean they're pretty much the same for everyone but just in case uh, like your local time is different like or US, it's sometimes different uh, from Europe. So it's just easier to give users an option to specify the, the format here so everything is imported correctly. Now we can see the tests are here. For individual tests, you can see the summary. You're also able to see the analysis. You're also able to see uh, the drawdowns and the equity, and you're also able to see the trades, okay? Now, uh, what if I want to combine these results and review them in a portfolio? So what I can do is I can create a portfolio. Let's say uh, I'm going to call it minis. Okay. And I'm going to put this and I'm going to copy this into my portfolio. So what did I copy? I copied NQ and I'm going to take ES. I'm going to copy ES into my portfolio. So now I have ES and NQ inside my portfolio. I can view them separately or i can you view them together i can view their equity this is the combined equity at the same time i can review the equity so you can see this is the blue one which is the es and so it just made just above ten thousand dollars if we go and review okay so this is the es it just went up to about 20 came back down to about 15. so if we go and look at this you can see it went up to about 20, came down to about 15. Okay, we can see the red one is the NQ. So if we go and review NQ separately, it went pretty high up to 50, came down to, to 25. We can actually see that in the comparison, uh, which ones are making what, okay? And you can actually see the same 
for the drawdowns. So you can see the red one drawdowns for NQ and the blue one drawdowns for uh, the equity. Okay, so uh, now I can close this, I can close Ninja, I can come back to this in a month, in a year, whatever, and the data is going to be there. It's not going to go anywhere until you erase it from the folder. Now let's imagine I run an optimization. So strategy analyzer, and I mean, pretty much it's just going to be the same. Okay, but just so that I show everything. So, and this is actually where, where stuff, you know, becomes even more interesting because you can actually review your in sample out of sample like this. Okay, so uh, let's find this strategy. So let's find the strategy one second. KLMN, okay, launch breakout. Now, uh, let's do a quick optimization so this doesn't take too much time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to choose the symbol. So uh, we were looking at ES, uh, 15 minutes, okay. And let's optimize the period for the channel. And let's go from 100 to 200, and let's walk in five increments. So that's going to make a few. Okay, so ES, 15 minutes. And let's run our optimization on uh, 2022, okay, like this. And, I mean, this is just a hypothetical example, guys, so... Please, uh, I'm not going to spend hours optimizing it here. So let's imagine, well, uh, man, let's just run a few more optimizations. Maybe I can uh, also include, I just wanted to find something which looks a bit better. Let's see, maybe we can uh, analyze which one, TMA or maybe HMA is better. Okay, and let's run a few more. Maybe we find some better results. Okay, 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 that's slightly better. So let's imagine, let's imagine we like this, okay? I mean, I don't like this, but let's imagine we like this, okay? And uh, we want to save these results, so open in strategy. I mean, I could save the trades, I can go right here, and I can actually just export these trades from here. It's going to be the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open in new strategy analyzer tab. Okay. So this is my in sample uh, test result. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export its trade these trades. And I'm going to export them. And um, so this is ES. And I can I can even go and just create a new folder. So I'm going to say in sample out of sample ES. Okay, just like that. So ES in sample. Okay, and and basically the way you do this right is now let's imagine we were we found our perfect optimization results uh, for this period, and now we're going to see how it would have performed during the out of sample period. Okay, probably not going to be a very good. Okay, anyway, so this is how what, this is how it did. And let's imagine this is a good uh, a good one. Okay, and I'm going to go to the trade section and I'm going to export this. Okay, and this is going to be the out of sample. So the idea is to combine these results into a single uh, equity. Okay, to view and to monitor uh, the performance after that. So I'm going to go to the data collector. And by the way, you don't even have to close this window. You can see that I created a folder and that automatically created a portfolio for me. And when I was adding results, it, it's not necessary to uh, close the window. You can just refresh, okay, at any point. So you can see the summary here. You can see this is the out of sample here. So, uh, so, so sorry, the in sample, and you could see the in sample. Okay, we'll just have a look where it ends, for example. So that it had about, what, 941 trades. Okay, so if we go to the analysis here, okay, so 900, sorry, um, one second, I actually need to analyze this, right? So 
900 uh, so 2023 that's where the in sample ends and this is where the out of sample starts okay making a loss of ten thousand dollars anyway but still okay you see how you can actually combine the in sample optimization with the out of sample optimization and easily review and basically what you can actually continue doing here is you can actually continue trading and add your own uh, xlx file here and you know so this is going to be your uh Sorry, so this is going to be your in sample, right? This is going to be your out of sample. And you can add another XLS there where you're going to be adding your live trades. And you can actually even continue monitoring your performance in respect to the optimized periods and, you know, control your trading like this. So uh, now, well, probably the final thing that I would want to show is that you could actually, as I said, so right from your optimization, you can just go ahead and export this. So let's imagine we like this this sample test here so we could just go expert data test example okay you can click save uh, my, my excel keeps an opening so um and i could just go here you see it didn't come up but i can easily refresh and you can see the example test just came up here okay wasn't the worst one in the world okay guys so this is the functionality that allows you to keep your results uh, save your templates in one file save your results in another file just keep the names matching and you know you can always come back to this and uh, you know have a fresh view okay so have fun guys take care